Started off very quiet. Hello there, nice to see you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And, and also, also with, with you, you is the response. <laughs> where there's a bit in bold type, I'll give you a clue, that's where you have a response to make in the orders of service. Welcome. It's lovely to have you here. It feels like we've been looking forward to this day for a long time, um, but finally it's arrived. And you're all looking splendid, may I say. Uh, it's uh, wonderful, and um, uh, when we were practicing this last night, um, it finally began to seem like it was real. We've been having the bands read over the last three weeks, and each, uh, each Sunday morning as we come to reading the bands, I've looked back at uh, Alan and Anne and said, not long now, not long now, three weeks, two weeks, one week. Here we are. The day has finally arrived, and it's lovely to welcome you, your family, and your friends to this special occasion when you make your vows before each other, and most importantly, before God. We're going to stay standing as we sing our first hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful, All Creatures Great and Small.
presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Alan and Anne, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God in creation, through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as a man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body and mind, as Christ is united with his bride, the Church. The gift of marriage brings husband and wife together in the delight and tenderness of sexual union and joyful commitment to the end of their lives. It is given as the foundation of family life, in which children are nurtured, and in which each member of the family, in good times and in bad, they find strength, companionship and comfort, and grow in maturity and in love. Marriage is a way of life made holy by God and blessed by the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ with those celebrating a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Marriage is a sign of unity and loyalty which all should uphold and honour. It enriches society and strengthens community. No one should enter into it lightly or selfishly, but reverently and responsibly in the sight of Almighty God. Alan and Anne are now to enter this way of life. They will each give their consent, one to the other, and make solemn vows, and in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. We pray with them that the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen them, that they may fulfill God's purposes for the whole of their earthly life together. But first, I am required to ask anyone present who knows any reason why these persons may not lawfully marry, to declare it now. <laughs> <laughs> Alan and Anne, the vows you are about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is the judge of all and knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Alan, will you take Anne to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Anne, will you take Anne to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live. I will. Will you, the families and friends of Alan and Anne, support and uphold them in their marriage now and in the years to come? We will. Fantastic. I think that was in the affirmative. <laughs> That's great. The uh, lesson for us, Louise. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and get or give over my body to hardship, I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonour others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. <coughs> Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, 
I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am known, fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Who gives this woman to be married? I do. Alan Graham. Take you, Christine Ann. Take you, Christine Ann. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God I make this vow. In the presence of God I make this vow. I, Christine Ann. I, Christine Ann. Take you, Alan Graham. Take you, Alan Graham. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I make this vow. I make this vow. I've done it. <laughs> 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 a prayer of blessing over the rings heavenly father by your blessing let these rings be to alan and anne a symbol of unending love and faithfulness to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day through jesus christ our lord amen I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you. With my body I honour you. All that I am I give to you. All that I am I give to you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Alan, I give you this ring. Alan, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you. With my body I honour you. All that I am I give to you. All that I am I give to you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Alan and Anne have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Lovely.
Thank you. Thank you. Bring your hands together. Those whom God has joined, let no one put asunder. <laughs> let us pray. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. For you have created joy and gladness, pleasure and delight, love, peace and fellowship. Pour out the abundance of your blessing upon Alan and Anne in their new life together. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, awake and asleep, in joy and in sorrow, in life and in death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that banquet where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve and keep you. The Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, that you may please him both in body and soul and living together in faith and love, may receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. You want to help your wife out? Splendid. We're going to stand and sing our second hymn, Give Me Joy in My Heart, Keep Me Praising. And uh, towards the end of this hymn, I will lead uh, Alan and Anne and uh, their witnesses over to sign the register. And uh, as we uh, are doing that, you'll be hearing some uh, music that Alan and Anne have chosen for you to listen to. But we sing our, uh, our hymn, uh, Give Me Joy in My Heart. choice of music for the <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go that far because I don't want to get my dress too.
Thank you. One. I'm surprised you didn't break it down. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's oh, fantastic. You did beautiful as well. Alan. You all did very well. You did brilliantly, Caitlin. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got a little box for you last night to stand on because I took it. Mr. Pierce, as always. Miss McGee. Oh no, it's too wrong. Mrs. Oh, Edgar. Mrs. Edgar. Yay! I'm sorry about that, Mr. Edgar. We've been calling that for so long. <laughs> And after three, congratulations! congratulations. Yes. Yes. Lovely. Yes. 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 Y